everybody. I'm Miss Chris at Palm Harbor Library. Welcome to week three of our summer Tales and Tales program. I'm here to tell you about this week's crafts that you can take and make at home. Our theme is the ocean. Don't you love it? Under the sea, there's all kinds of things to find. And we've got some great things for you to make this week. How about some sand art with this awesome shark? I kind of like shark stories myself. Or there's this little seahorse ornament that you can make and it's got like a little shell as its body that you get to decorate. That's really cute. Or what about a necklace? Hmm. Who is this? That's right, it's a sea turtle. It's beads and little foam shapes, a lot of fun to put together. And if you're into ancient paleo, animals from back in prehistoric time. This is a scratch art sea creature that you can make. But you know, we're more than take and make crafts. We have some great ocean books that we would like you to check out too. And remember, it's not too late to join one of the reading clubs. One of my favorites is James Arnosky. He does some great animal stories. Otters Underwater is really cute. If you are a shark fan, I have my library shark. And along with true fact books, there are oodles of shark stories. Shark school, if you like chapter books. Shark tales, if you like chapter books. What about big shark, little shark, and beginning readers? And if you're into picture books, Don't Eat the Teacher is a hysterical read. It's really cute. And if you're into board books, what about the little pout pout fish? He has all kinds of things happening to him. If you like to listen to stories, remember that we have the read along collection. That's where you have the book and a CD disc. Some of you guys still have those old CD players. You can listen and read the story at the same time. And of course, who does not love Pete the cat? Scuba Pete, he's down in the ocean doing all kinds of stuff. And would you like to know a fact about the ocean? These weird but true books are great for that. Did you know a jellyfish can be as small as a thimble or as large as two washing machines? I did not know that. Weird, but it's true. And speaking of true, I'm gonna see if I can stump you. Here is a true false question for you. Hmm, did you know there is a species of sea creature called the bone-eating snot flower? What do you think, true or false? Well, it's true. It was discovered in the North Sea. It looks like a worm, but the scientific name translates to bone-eating snot flower. Oh my gosh. Uh, did you know whales have belly buttons? True. Sharks are colorblind? Mm -mm, that one's false. And what about dolphins? A female dolphin is called a doe like a deer. True or false? Mm, nope, that one's false. They're actually called cows, believe it or not. Well, we have to go soon, but I wanna remind you of one more thing. Remember, you have the chance to win the stuffy of the week. And the way you do that, come into the library during Ocean Week, pick out the take and make craft that you wanna try. Take it, make it, and then show it off. Show it to us using social media and you'll be entered for a chance to win this week's Stuffy of the Week, which is this lovely little manatee. Well, I've got to go. My octopus with his eight arms is going to wave his arms out of the water and wave. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you next week with more Take and Make Crafts.